Hello everyone, it's me, Toby Jones. I'm back for the usual. Uh, unfortunately though, I have some bad news. I have been denied access to the spinny chair. It's a very sad day. However, I'm not gonna let this get the better of me and I'm gonna continue to deliver high energy videos that I'm sure you'll enjoy. So if I, uh, I'll just spin over it. Never mind. No, I can't do this. Two hours later. <sighs> you don't need it. It's 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 a crutch. You don't need it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. He's beginning to believe. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to another vape juice review. It's me, once again, Toby Jones, and here I'm going to be bringing you a brand new range, believe it or not. Uh, this is the Steep Sluss... Sluss <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> this is the Steeped Sluss range. Uh, it is a brand new range coming in from the people who brought you things like Quick Shake, Red Relish, the S1 Quick Kit, Emperor, a whole lot of stuff. And they've made a brand new juice range. Um, it looks very nice, it looks very appealing, and once again, I'm going in completely blind. So, ho -ho, all impressions are gonna be new and interesting. <laughs> um, I still haven't decided which one I'm gonna have a look at, but first of all, I wanna have a little look at the specs of the juice. So, let's take a little look at these. Um, this is like the first time I've actually had a proper look at them. Um, Take a little look at yourself, actually. It's uh, it's it's got the typical design of a uh, of a slush juice. It's got a little uh, little slushy on there, um, and the name is Cool Slush for all of them. Yep, that's the same for all of them. Impossible. Um, it is um, a standard seventy thirty juice, obviously with no nicotine in it. Um, you get fifty ml with a gap so that you can add your own nicotine, and as you can see there at the top. There is the steeped logo, so you know for a fact that this is in fact being made by the company I said it was made by, so that's good, that's a relief. Um, now, today, uh, I'm not going to be using my mod uh, to to vape the juice. Today, I'm going to be using this, the Vape Pen 22. Uh, I, we're also going to have a review of this up on the channel, so... Remember I said about ringing that notification bell? Now might be a good time to do it. <laughs> uh, it will be coming up soon, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look at this in a bit. It's out of shot now. <laughs> it fell over. What are you gonna do? Um, so there's there's plenty of different flavors. Um, there's a Palmer Violet. I'm just gonna demolish this little stand, st stand I've done. Um, green Apple. We got Orange and Apple. We've got Black currant, mixed berries, lemon and lime, strawberry, and last but not least, mango. Now, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Last few vape juice reviews, when I've had a bit of an option, I've went for flavors that I enjoy. Now, today, I was thinking of going for the lemon and lime because I love lemon and lime. However, I'm gonna expand horizons today and I'm gonna try out something a bit a bit ballsy. Uh, today, we're gonna put all these ones to the side. They're irrelevant for the time being. And we're gonna have a look. That's not Palmer Violet, that's black currant. <laughs> we're gonna have a look at Palmer Violet. <laughs> Okay, so our coil is fully soaked. Um, we have our tank filled up all the way. And all that's left to do now is turn this bad boy on and give it a try. So, let's do that. Here we go, moment of truth. I was gonna ask for a drum roll, but. Oh, 
Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. It's, um... It's definitely Palm of Violets. I'm not gonna deny that. But it's also not. That's a weird bit. Um... It's, um... Hmm... I'm just, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit intrigued because this is the first time I've vaped a Palm of Violet flavour at all. So... The flavour definitely carries through, for sure. Um... It... It does have an aftertaste as well, quite similar to... Quite similar to a slush as well. Now, the nice thing about it is it's not exactly icy. So if you're looking for if you're looking for if you're looking for something that's slush flavor without menthol, which quite a lot of people I've seen do want, that's good. I mean, because I'm assuming most of the cool range as well, the cool slush range isn't gonna have any menthol in either. Normally it's you know first first, same as I, I can't get my words out today. <laughs> um, normally normally the case is is that um, if it's the same way in one juice, it'll be the same way for all of them. So, it comes as a pleasant surprise to say that this is mostly Palmer Violet. Um, and they've they've nailed the flavor. So, no complaints there, that's for sure. Decent amount of vapor. We'll save that for the Vape Pen 22 review. <laughs> Um, yeah, what can I say? That's um, that is pretty satisfying. I like it a lot. Mm. Yeah, def definitely for sure. Like the the aspect of um, the aspect of it being a slush is definitely more in the aftertaste. It's not. It's not something that comes comes along with the flavour like um, like most slush juices I've tried. Um, it's ma it's mainly just it's mainly just the taste, and it's not the it's not any sort of like ice in there. Um, you mostly get you're getting the palmer violets, and then you're getting a nice um, a nice almost fizzy aftertaste to it, uh, and that gives you that sort of slushy aftertaste to it. And it's nice. I don't really have much else to say. <laughs> so, ultimately, would I rate this? The short answer is yes. Yes, I would. The long answer is it's really solid. I was not expecting um, Steep to pull something out like this. Um, I've never seen a Palmer Violet vape flavor before, which is why I was so inclined to try it. I can only assume that the regular flavors in their range as well are very nice too. Um, but they've nailed it. They've nailed a very solid Palmer Violet flavor. And the slush there, the slush aftertaste is completely undeniable. Uh, all in all, it's really good. Stick it in a sub ohm kit and you'll be having a grand old time. Uh, and yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, it's, a good it's a good flavor. It's a good little series. And I can't wait to try out the rest. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep on having a little go on this off camera, and uh, maybe I'll see you for the review of this. Maybe, maybe if you hit the subscribe button, maybe then you would be notified to when the video would show up, and then you'd be like, "Oh hey, look, it's that guy I really like, Toby Jones. <laughs> maybe I'll go check out his video, the video, please." Please consider. Use my knowledge, I beg you. Um, right, I, this is normally the part where I'd, I'd kick myself away on the spinny chair and leave off a trail of vapor, but I can't do that. So I'm just gonna stand up and leave. Catch you later, Electro fam.